storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. See, John Gray tried to deny that he was having an affair. He tried to say that the blogger, blogger, bloggers, that the bloggers was lying. But once the shit came out and it got national attention, he had no choice but to address it. And so before I really talk about this, I want to play his apology. And then we're going to see what we got to say. We're going to see what we got to say about it. But let's play, let's play what he said before I go in on his fat ass head. As I've said to my wife, I say to her now in this moment, Aventer, I am sorry for the pain that I have caused you. And my prayer is that the life I live from this moment will be one worthy of the love that you have extended and that our family receives from. I am grateful for you, for our children, and I pray that God would restore the joy that we had in the days when we would drive around the city dreaming. You know more than everyone else areas of pain that I've carried for years. The horrific self-fulfilling prophecies that you told me, stop confessing those things. But I believe that this moment had to come so that God could make me the man I need to be but I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused. You don't deserve it. You're an amazing woman of God. And I love you. And I will face me so that the man that comes out of this moment will be able to honor you in a way that I never have before. To my church, I am sorry. You've gone through enough from cars, to meetings with leaders that have caused great pain and deep division amongst political ideologies to one thing after another, I wanna tell you I'm sorry. The standard has not changed. Holiness is still right. And I want you to know that it is my prayer that from this moment of true repentance, that you will see emerge from this moment a pastor that you can be proud of. All righty, all righty. And so let me put this picture back up here. This nigra here. Oh shoot, did I talk about Kanye? Did I forget Kanye? Okay, I'll. Okay, I might have to just add that later. Okay, this nigga here, instead of coming out and being a man and admitting to what he did, saying it was wrong, this man uses classic narcissism strategic talking points. Deflect, deflect, deflect. John Gray, John William Gray, is a 40 something year old, damn near obese, probably got diabetes and high blood pressure, lost his hair a long damn time ago, a fake ass 40 year old virgin. John Gray is an agent for Satan. John Gray is a bitch. And let's just call it what it is. John Gray and people like him is one of the reasons why People are fleeing from the church because we realize we safer outside of these churches than in them. John Gray. Mm, I, I really want to say some messed up stuff and this is going to sound messed up when I do it. OK, let's talk about it. Right. Bottom line, John Gray, everything you did and everything you got coming to you, I have absolutely no sympathy for you. There is absolutely no reason by, why a man of your stature, a man that know that word to say the, the way that you say you do, a man that is preaching, prophesying over people, laying hands over people, counseling people, there is no reason why that you should be as disrespectful as you are, not only to your body, not only to your wife, not only to your kids, but to your God as well. See, you one of the motherfuckers that think you're going to have fun. But you're going to Satan, Satan, 
Cause you ain't shit You dirty bitch You ain't shit Just admit You ain't shit You an ain't shit ass nigga Who lucked up And know how to talk good enough And got into an industry Where you have to pay no taxes And everybody supports your ass You are the weak leading the weak You are the blind leading the blind you are a horrible example of what a man of God is, what a husband is, and what a father is, too. Because men own up to their shit. You didn't own your shit, bitch. Say exactly what you did. You cheated on your wife multiple times. You used tithing money, not only to buy her Lamborghinis. And then she gonna come out and say, well, we're entertainers. Well, then I'm gonna use you and your wife as entertainment. I don't take you and your, your religion seriously anymore because I don't know what God you serving. I don't serve that God. You serving Satan. That voice in your ear, that's Lucifer, bitch. Because God didn't tell you to cheat on your, on your wife. God didn't tell you to leave your kids and go to Cabo. Your fat, funky ass don't need to be on nobody's beach. Why your fat, funky ass got all this time to go travel and no time to go to the gym? I just want to know, you traveling from sea to shining sea, risking COVID, but won't go risk no COVID to go in the gym. Won't take your fat ass and go run around the block. You are trying to live out your youth, and I'm here to tell you your youth is gone. You're trying to be something that you can never be, which is a man that an attractive woman actually wants. See, your problem is that you never really stayed in your lane. And now that you got a little money, you trying to color outside of the lines. And you just ain't that nigga. You don't have swag. You wouldn't even, you, 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 you barely got bass in your butt. You wouldn't, you, didn't, you wouldn't even sound as sexy to that side hole. You don't even know how to woo a woman. You talking to your side chick and all you got to say is beef, brisket, pepperoni, pizza? And that's sexy? You sound like a damn queen. But like I told y'all, it's mostly queens leading the church anyway. I, I don't want not damn one of you church going folks to ever judge a gay person ever again in life after all this shit that's coming out. I want You do know this is sexual immorality, right? You do know it ain't cool to sleep with side chicks and then come home and sleep with your wife and bring that shit home. That's not cool either. You know that, right? You know, all the Chanel bags, all the Gucci purses, all the lap, ba lap band surges you can pay for her, it's not going to make it right. You do know that, right? You know, God ain't going to bless not man one of your unions that you try to have after this. You know that, right? You do know, you bitch. Since you win that word that, you know, once you sleep with a woman outside of your wife, you're no longer even married to your wife spiritually. You got the legal shit, but not spiritually. Spiritually, y'all are broken. This is done and it's been done. And she's a dummy for staying with you. Avent Aventa, Aventa, I ain't even got on your ass yet. I'm sparing you a little bit because this is so embarrassing. And it ain't just embarrassing that he didn't cheat on you because this man been cheated on you and you been new about it. It's embarrassing because of how fucking disrespectful he was to his wife whilst cheating on her. You put my child on some shit while you cheating, I'm beating your ass. She need to beat your ass. I ain't even no advocate for domestic violence. I'm not. But she needs to take a, a... Go cook this nigga some chicken. He gonna sit at the table. And you need to throw that Crisco grease on that ass. For even disrespect. You disrespected your wife. You talk down to your wife to another woman. None of you niggas are on G-Code at all. The hoes ain't. The niggas ain't either. Used to be back in the day. No matter what. That side hoe couldn't come outside the mouth when it came to your wife. You check her quick. You had enough respect to cheat in the dark and nobody found out until your funeral. Everything is being exposed in 2020. This is ridiculous. You take no accountability for anything. You deflect. And you say you sorry. Nigga, sorry's not good enough. Where is your change behavior? And you got the nerve to counsel Latoya and Tommy and now... LaToya getting cheated on? Low key, I wouldn't be surprised if you and Tommy is out here running trains together. In the name of Jesus. You know, we do and we eat a lot of things, but we bless it, you know, and that's supposed to make it okay, right? All right we ain't supposed to be touching pork, but we pray before we eat it and it's supposed to make it right. No matter how much you pray over that puss, it ain't for you if it ain't your wife. 
but you suffer your whole life here mentally. See, a lot of these hoes out here, and yes, I'm going to call them a hoe because it's some hoe ass shit. See, hoes deflect real men on up to what the hell they do. See, these hoes got all this childhood trauma that they never heal, and then everybody else got to pay for it in their adult life. You grew up being a fat kid. You grew up be, uh, not having no kind of identity. You damn sure you probably ain't that damn smart. Because you would have went into another career field and not ministry. You know, but you knew that this was a way to make money and not have to pay taxes and get to live your best life. You finally got some money in your pocket. And instead of using it for the good, instead of helping people who actually need it. You know, like those people that gave you time so you could take a hold of Cabo, but they didn't pay their light bill because they wanted to make sure they gave 10% of their Social Security check. I'm dragging you for them. You know, for the people that gave you their last, thinking that they got to bless you and the Lord going to bless them because they blessed you. Bless me and he'll bless me to bless you. No! That's not how it works. You are an agent of Satan. And anybody that's still going to your church at this point is an idiot and they deserve everything that come after it. A lot of y'all better start fellowshipping at your house. The words say three or more, you got a church. Put three of your kids in their living room and y'all talk about God and learn this Bible together. Because you got bitches like, and hoes like this leading you, he gonna lead you straight to hell. And not because you worship and say, because you lying on the Lord. You lying on God. Why do these high profile pastor pimps not even, hey, hey, why do these high profile pastor pimps not even follow the same shit that they give to us? Is religion really just made to make us all sheep? Do these people, once they get so high up, the elites, he ain't no damn elite, but elites and people high up, you know, in whatever industry, do they all know that a lot of this shit is just made up? And so they like a lot of this shit ain't even real anyway. So we just going to teach it to them to keep them poor. But we going to get rich off of it and live our best lives. I want to know there's something that they're not telling us. Because it ain't no way you can preach to me that if I don't follow this, I go to brimstone and hellfire. But you don't follow the shit that you telling me is going to send me to hellfire. Is nobody, is nobody looking at this? Wake up. This shit is sad. And Aventor, I want to let you know too, you're selling your soul as well. See, a lot of y'all think that selling your soul to the devil. Yes, I am going to play my Dr. Linda commercial when we hit out. Get your candles if you want. I ain't said you got to. I'm saying if you want it. I do business. <laughs> but guess what? Selling your soul is when you do something that you don't want to do, but you do it for money. I think we all sell a little bit of ourselves every day. And this woman is selling herself short, being with this, sticking by this man here because she don't want to get out here and work. She doesn't want the stigma of being a single mother. She loves the social uh, uh, hierarchy she gets by being the first lady. She loves the perks of working for Oprah. She loves that shit. But ma'am, you love all that shit more than you love God and you love that shit even more than you love your children. Because what in the hell is you teaching your two sons? That this is how you, this is how you treat your wife? This is what you do when you're the leader. You're this is this is your king. This is your leader. This is your this is y'all leader. No wonder the state of American blacks is so fucked up. No wonder. No wonder. This is who you got leading you. And you know what's sad? The purlings, the er, the opals, the roofy maids of the world. They still gonna be giving this man their last because for some reason, when it comes to the black church, it's uh, well, it's misogyny. I, I was going to say for some reason, it's misogyny. Bottom line, no matter what, when it comes to the black church, the men can get away with anything. But we would never tolerate a woman in the church doing this. Leand look, Leandra wasn't even lying about what she was doing. She was letting you know, look, I'm pregnant. I drink to keep. I want to party with Leandria. I don't give a damn. A lot of y'all think Leandria going to hell because she drank tequila. She, gonna be, she, she might be the main one going to heaven. Because at least she kept it real about who she was. She said, I'm pregnant. I'm thinking about aborting it because I am embarrassed. If you ever thought about an abortion, raise your damn hand. That's the kind of preacher I want. I ain't saying she was right, but she real. This bastard right here, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. It's just ridiculous.
Now, are you tired of being fat as hell? Are you sick of your breasts hitting your lap when you sit down? Are you embarrassed every time you go by and people think you're pregnant, but you really not? You just had a big burrito last night. If you were going through them problems, and guess what? I got a solution for you, and your solution is going to be found in Nutriburst. Now, before you get mad, let me let you know. In addition to using Nutriburst products, you're going to need a healthy caloric deficit diet. But one of my favorite products that Nutriburst offers is called Red resolution drops and life drops and i'm telling you they help me not eat as much because you know i'm a cookie monster i'm a slave to that pata pata monster so if you slave to the pasta and the cookies like me get you some resolution and some life drops my link is in the description box below got questions talking to one of the world's top 10 psychics ought to help dr linda salvin is amazing with an uncanny ability to clarify your issues and bring you quick and accurate answers and predictions from the white house to the homeless dr linda has helped thousands over more than two decades on her national radio show by phone in person when you need answers dr linda lights the way Book time with this gifted healer and clairvoyant now. Visit lindasalvin.com or call 888-509-1077. And you can bring Dr. Linda's metaphysical healing home with her spirit-filled candles, Wicks of Wisdom, where pure essential oils and elements are powerfully released through her proprietary rituals to assist you in love, legal, career, finances, health, and more. Wicks of Wisdom work. See them and order yours at lindasalvin.com. Always fun and accurate, Dr. Linda's visions bring you solutions. Call 888-509-1077 or visit lindasalvin.com. Uh, it's a storm show. Ay, it's a storm show.